National Act of Self-Harm Labour Bigwig Demands Jeremy Corby Derails Brexit A former Labour heavyweight has called on Jeremy Corby to use his popularity to derail Brexit. Former Scottish First Minister Henry MacLeish, who served from 2000 to 2001, urged Jeremy Corby to utilise what he called the natural majority within Westminster for staying in the EU to engineer a rebellion. His comments come as Prime Minister Theresa May was preparing to make a major speech on the UK's future post-Brexit. Speaking at his book launch, Mr McLeish said, Can I also say to Labour's leader at this point, if Labour had half a campaign running before the referendum, Brexit would not have won. The second point then is an invitation to Jeremy and John Macdonald to put their own ideas of the EU and Europe behind them and use the House of Commons and forward slash or another referendum to make sure that there's a proper debate on this empty box that we voted on, once it is filled up. We are internationalists, Labour. By instinct and history we believe that protections for employees should be in place and not squandered in the return of legislation to Britain. There are so many pressing needs that Labour could embrace and I believe that the leadership of the Labour Party should now foursquare be behind remaining. While he had his hopes pinned on a constitutional answer to Scotland's problems with the UK, he said he would throw his weight behind an independent Scotland in the event of Brexit. Speaking at the Edinburgh International Book Festival, he described Brexit as a national act of self-harm with simply no benefits he said, we, Labour, have done ourselves a whole lot of damage by pretending that this will go away. It isn't going to go away and Labour must now rejoin enthusiastically the constitutional debate and not press for a vote on independence, another referendum on independence, but a referendum on the future of Scotland, and that could have another question. I make an appeal to the Labour Party, do not be afraid of the constitutional question. You cannot go around and say to Scots, we're against having another referendum. If Scots want another referendum they shall have another referendum. The way to defeat independence if your labour is to engage in the battle, engage in the referendum, win your case, win the vote. And as a Democrat, that's what they should be doing. Mr McLeish said he believes that if there was nothing short of independence on the table, Scotland could move towards another referendum on the issue within three to five years he said. This is the final call for Labour before Scotland moves towards independence. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and don't forget to subscribe English News Hub for new excited videos.